Hi, my name is Roxanne Mataferi, the Happy Warrior, and I'm here at the Orleans Casino at the event Tough Enough. This is the book I just got published. It's called Memoirs of a Happy Warrior, and uh, it's a story about me and my junior year abroad when I lived in Japan. So I spent a year in college abroad, and I learned Japanese. That was my major in college. So I went adventuring through Japan, you know. I, uh, I debuted as a fighter. I fought three times and um, just had fun. Training styles are pretty different um, in the United States compared to Japan, but it's hard to really put a finger on it. Uh, the biggest difference um, I can say is that I can speak English with my coach nowadays. He's very good at explaining things. I joined a syndicate and John Wood is the head coach. And um, just the preparation for fights are different. You know, conditioning is different. Um, kind of studying your opponent is different. So uh, I, I think I had a better preparation here, I guess, but um, in America. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed training in Japan and um, I learned a lot there too. I think that my last fight against Raquel was one of my better performances in my career and um, I feel like my striking has really progressed a lot since I came to Syndicate and was has been and have been training with uh, coach John Wood. Um, even after I lost and I, I kind of thought, man, I think I lost that one by decision, um, I just felt like a huge sense of pride that, man, for so many years I'd been trying to get better in striking and I hadn't really been getting it and I, I really felt like I accomplished something in that fight. You know, I wasn't like super a striker woman, but I, I really think that I did well. And, um, you know, it was a huge confidence booster for me, so um, I really want to keep going as much as I can. You know, I've been fighting for 10 years and it, I certainly feel it, but, um, you know, now I'm in America and I feel like they kind of got the science down of MMA very well, and I just want to keep going and, you know, I'm not going to give up. 115 is definitely too light for me, and um, when I went down to 125 in, in the past, I was unsuccessful. Um, you know, my opponents were really good and also I felt really weakened. I think I, I did it wrong. I dieted too much because I was afraid of missing weight. So now I've learned more about, you know, the science of it. So salt loading, then cut the salt, water loading, cut the water, like all that sort of thing. So I'm going to try to go down to 125. One thing that you can read in my book that you probably wouldn't expect is seeing me get really frustrated and really mad sometimes because I'm struggling and I can't understand what they're saying to me in Japanese and like I think this one thing happened and this thing happened and I get lost but I really try to explain my thought process you know part of my motto is try to be happy you know and try to think positively so even though I'm in this situation I try to tell myself like okay calm down this is the reason for this it's just you know your emotions you know think this through and just try to talk to myself and talk myself through it so I really try to communicate like my way of thinking and how I kind of get through these situations. I'm not always super happy, I just try to look at the positive side of things. I think a lesson everyone can take from my book is um, just how to persevere and how to kind of coach yourself through difficult situations if you can have the right mindset. Yes, you will see me fight again. <laughs>